I'm going to give you some tips and let you know about some scams when you're traveling to Cuba. Keep watching the video. Welcome back. It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com and on this channel we do do-it-yourself videos, product reviews, vacation videos and so much more. So if you're new here consider subscribing. So I've made a list in no particular order of some of the tips and some of the scams that you might run into when traveling to Cuba. So I'm just gonna get started. One of them if you're in town and you ask a local where a particular restaurant might be or where a certain place might be, you might be paying a little bit more for that price just because that local wants to get money for that information. So if, let's say, let's use an example as a restaurant, if you wanted to go to a particular restaurant, the local would take you to that restaurant and the restaurant will charge you more money than they normally would because they have to pay the local for the referral fee. The next one would be the no change scam. So if you purchase something or you want to buy something, uh, then the, the merchant or whoever you're buying that from would let you know that they don't have change. Uh, what they're trying to do is deter you from uh, wanting change and you just, oh, don't worry about it. And then they end up keeping your change. So that's uh, another scam. And uh, one of the most popular ones, of course, is Cuban cigars. When you come to Cuba, there's nothing wrong with getting some Cuban cigars, but be aware that there are a lot of fake ones out there, especially if you're gonna buy them off of the beach. So there's a couple things you gotta know about that. Um, they could be fake, and that could also po uh, pose a problem when you go back to your home country. If uh, immigration stops you, they may want to see a receipt. So you should be purchasing these from a um, licensed establishment uh, establishment that would be authentic uh, Cuban cigars so uh, two examples would be if you purchase that at the airport they would be hundred percent authentic if you purchase them at your hotel if you're staying at a hotel they too would be authentic and you would also get a receipt for that the next scam is actually not just for Cuba it's pretty much all around the world um, notably especially in Mexico or Thailand it's the fake money fake counterfeit money scam and this is if you're going to purchase something and the merchant or the store owner or whoever there would take your money and let you know that oh no this is fake uh, go to the back room exchange that really quickly with a counterfeit bill come back and give you the counterfeit bill and then you're now stuck with the counterfeit bill. Uh, the other way to do this is you actually purchase something and they're going to give you change back with counterfeit bills. So uh, now they've just passed off the counterfeit bill to you and now you're stuck with it. So always good to um, know, especially if you're paying with a higher bill, uh, say a hundred or a 50 or something like that, that you either know the serial number or you know something to identify that bill if you feel that that might uh, happen and you might fall victim to that. Also while you're traveling here to Cuba it's important not to really be sticking out from the rest so don't bring expensive jewelry or expensive uh, clothing, expensive items. Uh, if there's anybody that uh, would be doing wrong you would be a target for um, you know maybe theft or something like that so what you want to do is not bring those expensive items to Cuba it's always a safe bet to leave them at home while you're here in Cuba it's important to know that it's illegal to take pictures or video of the police or military any government officials or government buildings it's completely illegal to do that and you might get yourself into a little bit of trouble if you do that. During your stay here, it's important that you don't speak negatively about the Cuban government or talk any politics with the local Cubans. You don't want to get yourself into uh, trouble. 
blowing your nose or spitting in public while you're in Cuba is considered extremely rude and you should avoid doing those things. The next thing, of course, it almost seems like a no-brainer, but it's important, is do not drink the water here in Cuba. There's a chance you could get sick or get some sort of stomach bug. Best to stay and only drink bottled water. It's good practice to bring some gifts when you come to Cuba for the Cubans that you might interact with, such as maids, guests, stuff like that, uh, hotel um, staff, small items that are more important to Cubans than uh, you know yourself back at your own uh, home country, such as coloring books, uh, keychains, stuff like that from your home country that they cannot get here, or items that uh, are just a little bit more difficult for them to obtain, but they really appreciate that as well, of course, as uh, tips. But uh, sometimes it's really good, a good idea to bring uh, some gifts from uh, back home. Don't bring your American Express to Cuba. It's not accepted here at all. That uh, almost seems like a no-brainer, but um, it's uh, impossible to use that card here, so uh, leave that one at home. The other tip is, it's up to your own discretion if you want to take an unlicensed taxi. Uh, you can tell that by the, the signs and the um, ID. They have uh, paperwork in the uh, car or showing that um, they're licensed taxis. So if you stick with that, you're guaranteed to be safe. Um, taking an unlicensed taxi, not that you can't do it, but uh, it's used at your own risk. When you're here in Cuba, take advantage of purchasing cigars. You'll find that the prices in Cuba will definitely be cheaper than your home country and most definitely cheaper than an other country such as Mexico or the Dominican for purchasing Cuban cigars. Cuban cigars purchased in Cuba will be the cheapest. So you should take advantage whether you are a non-smoker or not uh, it's a great opportunity to utilize that and bring it back either for a friend or family member so that you can pass on the savings for them. The next tip is almost like the previous tip where if you're asking locals for help, this one is if locals come to you and offer to help you, you may think that they're doing a very nice gesture and they are and then they will charge you a fee after they help you and sometimes the fee is a little bit higher than you would expect um, so just be careful with that the next tip is purchasing fake products um, that's a problem almost all over the world but uh, you could come in contact with someone trying to sell you some fake products uh, this of course may be more relevant to uh, the beach. You'll definitely more than likely find fake products on the beach, guys walking up and down trying to sell you products. Uh, you'll definitely find fake products there. Um, lots of scams on the beach. Um, also in the markets, some of the products you may not even be able to see on display, but uh, they may have um, a little box of uh, fake products or whatever they are trying to sell you, jewelry, whatever it may be, clothing. So just be uh, careful. It's almost like you get what you pay for. Um, you know, don't expect the real thing at a screaming deal uh, here in Cuba. Next is the restaurant scam. So what this is, is you go to eat at a restaurant and you see everything on the menu, you order whatever the items which it comes with and when you get the bill you find out that you're charged extra for the additional items that were originally included with that meal this would apply especially to patrons or customers that have had a little too much to drink they seem to want to take advantage of those people so just be aware that that could happen and um, it's always good to confirm and make sure what you're getting is what you're paying what you're paying for is what you're getting before you um, order 
Next is the fake parking attendant scam. This could happen even on a street like this one. Say you have your car or your motorbike and you want to go visit the markets here and you come park and a loco or someone will come up to you and charge you a fee to park your bike or car and they'll tell you that they'll look after it and uh, they're the parking attendant and you must pay or uh, the police are going to take your vehicle and tow it away. Next would be the coffee scam. And the coffee scam would be paying overpriced for your coffee. I've heard uh, some scams going all the way up to uh, five, six Cuban convertible pesos for a cup of coffee. So just know that a cup of coffee in Cuba should only be about 50 cents to a dollar. Next is the classic car ride scam. If you're in a small group and you want to get a ride in one of these classic cars, you'll be told the price and when you agree on the price, you take the ride and when you get to your destination, then the the Cuban person tells you that it's per person. So you might get into a little bit of a, a situation if you don't clarify that before you get in the car. Just make sure that the price is total for all of you to get to point A to point B. Next one is the fake attraction or fake ticket scam where a loco will be selling tickets to an event that is supposed to happen, maybe even have a flyer or poster, and they demand payment up front, maybe even give you a fake ticket, uh, has an address, a location, everything, um, only to find out later that there is no event and there is no attraction and uh, you've been scammed out of your money. The next one is milk for the baby. So this one uh, is a local working with a store owner um, and they won't really care because they're getting money as well. So a local will come up to you and ask you for milk, not money, but to go into a store to purchase milk for the baby. And when you do this with this person, the store owner will charge you more than what the milk actually costs. And you'll make that purchase, give the milk to the woman or man, and they, once you leave, will bring that milk package back into the store, return that, and receive their commission from the store. So just have to be careful, it's uh, quite a clever scam that they have going and it does uh, happen quite often. When you're out and about traveling around Cuba, just be aware of your belongings, your wallet, your money. There are pickpocketers and you don't want to be a victim of pickpocketing. The last tip I have for you today is currency exchange. So when you arrive in Cuba and you get off the plane, uh, upon departing the airport uh, from leaving after getting your luggage, there'll be currency exchange places. So I would recommend exchanging currency that you will use or close to the amount that you'll need at the airport um, because the exchange rates are better at the airport than they are at the hotels. So um, it's January 2020 right now and the hotel where I'm staying, they quoted uh, per Canadian dollar, they quoted 66 cents. So it's a really high um, rate to pay um, for a Cuban convertible peso um, from a Canadian dollar. So you get better rates from the airport, maybe also in town, 
you can exchange the money there. Whether uh, any of your home currencies will be the same thing. Just uh, exchange it at the airport or go into town to do that because almost 100% guaranteed that your hotel's exchange rate will be much higher than anywhere else that you're going to exchange the currency. So that's it. I just want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share the video, give us a thumbs up and like our video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know any tips you might have or any scams you know about for people traveling to Cuba that would help them out. Be greatly appreciated. That's it. We'll see you on the next video. JeffLapard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.